You know what that tastes like? Fun in a carnival. <laughs> Fun in a carnival, that tastes like childhood. Hey friends, Greg Hudson back with you for another edition of ABR. This time, right across the street from Eastern Carolina University here in Greenville, North Carolina. And we found a place that is owned by a couple who are two Marine veterans, and they took over quarters less than a year ago, and now have the best burgers in town. Let's go grab a bite right now at Quarters. What's going on, my friend? How are you, sir? Doing well. Good to see you, brother. Oh, I love that nice little welcome for the crew of America's Best Restaurants. Thank you for that. So listen, uh, I see a lot of awards out there. What's this place about? How long have you, how long have you owned the place? Uh, my wife and I took over this place about uh, a year ago. So about a year ago, you guys had you got the place. Did you have any sort of food background or anything of that nature? Uh, yes, I had prior uh, experience uh, in culinary. Uh, chef trained or uh, no hibachi trained. Hibachi? No way! Are you kidding me? That's that. Honestly, that's like a bucket list for me. I've always wanted to learn how to do that. I love going to hibachi places and they're doing all that. See, so you did the hibachi? Yes. I used to work for a place called Julius back in the day, and I did all the tricks that I know. You can do the volcano and everything. Yeah, everything. So this is probably easy for you. This is nothing oh, no, at this point. <laughs> So what is, what's the food like here? What's, what's, since you've taken over, what are we doing with the menu here now that you've got the place? Uh, we revamped all the recipes. We make everything in house. Everything is from scratch. We pride ourselves on being a scratch kitchen. Love that. Always love to hear that, especially at ABR. You know, that's what we always look for. Uh, I, this is a work of art. These are some sort of dessert, man. Talk me through this. Oh yeah, absolutely. This is our funnel flight. Uh, we have our strawberry funnel. We have our regular uh, funnel we typically get out of Carnival, and then we also have our chocolate and the kids love it. You said funnel flight? Yeah, funnel flight. I've seen like a flight of beers, a flight of wine. I don't think I've ever seen a flight of funnel cakes before. This is great, man. So where, where do you think I should start? Maybe with the, the first basic one? Like, oh, hey, this yeah. Is... yeah, start with the basic one and then start working your way out. This is just fun. This is fun to eat. You know what that tastes like? Fun in a carnival. <laughs> Fun in a carnival, that tastes like childhood. This tastes like I was going to uh, the carnival at my elementary school, Fillmore Elementary in Hamilton, Ohio. We, oh, these are great, man. Are you making this dough in house? Yep, all the dough and the batter is all made in house. All right, I'm gonna go, is this strawberry you said? Yes, it's strawberry. I'll go strawberry next. And I like you get a little bit of everything. If you, you know, some people enjoy fruit with their, with their uh, sweets, some people like chocolate. These are so much fun to eat, man. Appreciate that. Getting it all over, but it's good. Oh, yeah. Kids love it. Man, I bet. Well, I'm, come on, adults like it too. Oh yeah, absolutely. But yeah, your kids definitely go for the chocolate every time. And so are you on this spot by yourself? What's going on here? Uh, no, my wife uh, also owns this place with me as well. Okay, and are you guys from this, the Carolinas or anything? Uh, no, from? we're actually from uh, Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, we came down about eight years ago. Um, we met the Marine Corps about 16 years ago and yeah, it was kind of the oh, first thing that get there. out of here, man! Thank you for your service, brother. That's that. You know, this is what I love to see when you you have veterans that come in and create a restaurant like this, and they're really doing their thing, man. Like that—that that just hit me. I'm sorry. That was really cool, man. Thank you for your service. Okay. I'm gonna try this chocolate one now. Mm. This is oh, I'm gonna need the whole plate here because this is dripping. Ooh, that chocolate sauce is rich, baby. Yeah. Who came up with these here? I mean, oh no, we actually brought these in. It was just a, an idea that my wife and I had, and we said we need to bring in a dessert, and we just kind of brainstormed and said, you know what, we need to do this because winter's going to be right around the corner, and somebody needs to feel all warm and fuzzy. Man, that's that's really thoughtful, and that does it, it tastes like summertime in the Midwest to me, for sure. So again, I was looking at um, the signs when I came in there. I see a few. Best in Greenville 2022. So a couple things I want to say about that. That's all you, because you took over in 22, yeah. right? Absolutely. So three awards straight out of the gate, not even one year in, that's got to feel pretty good. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's a testament to our, our hard work and our hard work and staff as well. And one of those happens to be best 
burger. Oh, yeah. If you don't mind, could I? Oh, absolutely. Jump right in the back. All right, it is burger time. Next, I'm gonna taste this award-winning burger, man. Looking forward to it. Thank you so much, brother. Thanks. I love coming to Quarters because it's like hanging out with your family and your friends. And the food here is amazing because it's all scratch food and it's different stuff that you don't just get everywhere. I just had a Carolina slaw dog, bomb.com. And I have to say, break the chain, eat local. This is Chef Pete. He's gonna be taking us uh, through the signature burger today, the Quarters Burger, right? Yes. Okay, and, and what all can we expect on this thing? Uh, well, we have a uh, potato cake on there, uh, bacon, we have grilled caramelized onions, and... Uh, Sounds like the, the ultimate breakfast burger in this whole movie. Oh, well, let's get going, man. Right. What do we do here? So, we're gonna put the potato burger, or the burger on the grill. That. That's, a, that's a nice a size patty you got yeah, there, absolutely. Chef. I'm gonna season that. We doing just a little salt and pepper there? Oh, got a little bit of everything in there. In other words, that means he's not that's gonna right. tell me. That's 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 exactly what that means. We can't tell you. All right, we're gonna get some potato cake on here. Are you guys making these potato cakes in house too? We make everything Look in house. Look at that! Everything in house. That has a lot going on, there. Chef. That'll be the second thing going on the grill. What's in that potato cake? That's not just potato. There's, there's we something. have some seasonings and uh, more seasonings. <laughs> We're not getting anything nothing, out of Chef Pete today, man. This guy is a vault. But I'm going to keep trying. Oh, yeah, right. let me get out your way. We'll put that uh, bun on the grill, get that nice and toasty. The man on a mission. I like that, too. I like a nice toasted bun with my burger. Woo! Yeah, we'll grab some bacon, put that on the grill, get that warmed up. It's like trying to stay out of his way. He's like bouncing all over the place. Love caramelized onion. And we'll get over here to hang some fries in the fryer. Yes, sir. And if I'm not mistaken, Chef, you guys are hand cutting fries at quarters, hand right? Cut fries, yes. Love that too. And that's you know that's what I heard is that you guys are doing things from scratch here. Yeah, but uh, even down to the hand cut fries, I love that. Everything's made from scratch. Our wings, sauces, our, um, our even our pickles are made from scratch. Excellent. Here, I'll get out your way, chef. You, you can dill, jump on in. Pickles. We have uh, pickled jalapenos, B and B pickles, and spicy Ooh, pickles. And you're doing that all in house. Oh, as everything well. is from scratch. See, yes. and that's what I think I really like. Is you come in and you have a nice bar environment, right? Yes. But you're also getting scratch made food. Which at a bar, let's be honest, you think, okay, I'm gonna go have some great drinks. Hang with some people, and get you know maybe something decent. Yeah. But it's great to see a bar like this really taking the time to do your own pickling uh, and make your own sauces for your wings. I love that you're really getting into it. Yeah, it, people definitely come back for that. Okay. And what about uh, what kind of blend are we using on the burger here, Chef? Seasoning. Now, what kind of? I, I tried to get the seasoning. Okay. What uh, what type of burger? We, we don't like eighty uh, twenty. We use an eighty one nineteen. Eighty one nineteen. Okay. I'll tell you what, we are gonna get this burger fried up, put it all together, and in just a second, I'm gonna try this famous Quarters Burger that everybody's talking about in Greenville. You good? All right, Chef, you ready to go here? Yes, sir. That, yeah, let's go, man. That looks like a great burger. Uh, that's pretty Instagrammable. Look at that. Woo. Oh, sorry, Chef. I'm over here admiring your burger. These fries. There you go. Get out your way. Generous portion of fries as usual. And you can, I mean, just looking at it, you can tell when you got some hand cut fries. All right. Love that. All right, Chef. It's time. Man, that bun is nice and toasty. And the latke, is it uh, right? The, the latke on the bottom? Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, it's gonna get messy. Listen, everybody's laughing and smiling already because they know what's coming. <laughs> this is ridiculous though, honestly. Woo. That's like the best breakfast burger you've ever had. And man, that latke is so flavorful. 
I wish you would tell me what's in that thing. Man. I can't. So is this something when you guys took, because you guys have, you know, took over, I know, less than a year ago. Is this something that you developed burger-wise, or was this already in the menu? Did you approve it? This actually was on the menu. Um, Good. No improving. You're right, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Mmm. I just got a big bite of that yolk. Yeah. Thankfully, it's not down my face, but man, is it delicious. <laughs> I get it now. I get the scratch made stuff here. I mean, it just tastes so fresh. And again, at a bar, that's pretty unique, man. Very unique. Now, right online, a lot of a lot of comments that we saw on Facebook mentioned a Philly cheesesteak. Yes. You guys doing that here in the Carolinas? We do, we do Philly cheesesteak here. It's homemade cheese sauce. Doing your own cheese sauce. What was the thought behind that here? Well, where'd that recipe come from? That came from the owner. Came from the owner. Okay. Well, good. That's a good news because we're going to be trying that with him next, okay. right after the burger. Philly cheese steak coming up next. Woo! So back here with Dave and Julie. Finally, get to meet you. Good to see you. Good to meet you. And again, thank you for your service as well. What a great story! Uh, both of you meeting in the military come down here um, and now you're putting all this together. You've had this less than a year. And now I see why though, I see why you guys won Best Burger 2022. That thing is fantastic. Really, really good. Thank you. You developing some of your own seasonings here in-house? Yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm gonna get into this Philly. I'm a big Philly cheesesteak guy, to be really honest. And not, and not necessarily in a traditional sense. It can be traditional, it can be non-traditional, but what about this one, man? Uh, this is a recipe that we brought down from up north. Uh, we pretty much stick as close to Philadelphia as possible. Uh, wow. Yeah, that sauce looks very authentic. And you guys make that sauce in house too, right? Mm -hmm. What type of beef are we using for the cheesesteak itself? Uh, that's uh, already marinated uh, flat steak. Oh, you, oh, so you're marinating it in house too? Mm -hmm. You see this little green I got on my face right now? Again, I'm gonna say it, man. Just like that burger, the way you guys season your food here, I mean, nothing is bland. Really great seasoning. You know what else I love? I love this bun. Very, very soft, but still holds up to that cheesesteak. Mm -hmm. And what do you guys have? What is that? Some <clears throat> crazy looking fries over there. Uh, these are our scallywag fries. Uh, it's two portions of fries with our, our <laughs> cracker. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Crack dip. Yeah. Uh, uh, Crack dip. Yep. Uh, onions. Crack dip. I got a friend that was his college nickname. <laughs> um. So, with the food being as good as it is, I know you guys took over less than a year ago, mm -hmm. and already, I mean, you walk in and you see the three accolades on the door. You guys have already won awards. We know why for the burger. Um, have you made a lot of changes to in coming in? I mean, is this because I mean. It's, it cannot be coincidence that you took over 22 and all of a sudden we got three awards. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, we, uh, we've been all different recipes. We kind of kept the foundation, but uh, we kind of put a spin on everything. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, what do you see for the future here? Like what's, I mean, again, less than a year you've had this place and it's already getting recognized around town. Mm -hmm. So going forward, like a year from now, two years from now, what's what's the hope, what's the vision? Well, our hope is to continuously change the menu. That way it doesn't stay boring. Change, we're bringing more food. I have more rotations. So mm -hmm. Love that. Right, a little bit more things rather than just having the same ones. Excellent. And is that, do you guys get creative with that? You ever talk about recipes that you're thinking about or maybe dishes you're thinking about bringing in? Yeah, oh, I mean, yeah. we um, sit down with our staff and see what kind of uh, ideas that they have. We want to hear from them. We want to hear what they love and what, you know, what their ideas are and stuff. Um, so we'll have a big meeting about what we see our menu looking like and they contribute and i love that too and listen for restaurant owners out there that's important because you can talk to any cook i don't care if it's a line cook i don't care if it's a prep cook all the way up to chef cooking is to me it's a creative process mm -hmm. and so when you empower your people to you know make decisions or come up with creative ideas they don't get stale in that kitchen mm -hmm. and then also you're going to come up with brand new dishes based on, on their experience and their knowledge too. So I think that's the way to go. You guys, well, congratulations on an incredible place. Less than a year, already winning some awards. And I know that uh, 
Greenville has a lot to look forward to with you guys. We really appreciate your time here, Porters. Thank you. Thank you. Man, I know we're in a college town, but when you get scratch-made food made with the precision of two Marine Corps veterans and you win a burger contest in less than a year, you're definitely one of America's best restaurants.